Two pills taken once a year can prevent this. Now this is a very severe case of, uh, of lymphatic filariasis. Lymphatic filariasis, or LF. It's also called elephantiasis, and it's plain to see why. A number of deep folds here. And you often see a picture of a person walking along with an enormous leg that has elephant-looking skin. This is a, a grotesque disfiguration, causes great suffering, um, and is one of the major causes of disability, actually, in, in, uh, in the world. LF affects about 120 million people worldwide. Many of them are here in Nigeria, the world's third most endemic country. The World Health Organization labels LF as one of several neglected tropical diseases. They're also known as forgotten diseases of forgotten people. And that's because to get to these places, you can barely reach them even in a four-wheel drive vehicle like this. The Carter Center has been reaching these remote areas in two Nigerian states for more than 10 years to make headway against elephantiasis. The disease is spread by mosquitoes carrying parasitic worms that cluster in the body, blocking a person's normal flow of lymphatic fluid. That causes fluid to build up and swell legs, feet, and frequently in men, genitals. Mosquitoes take the infection from one person and transmit it to the next. Kill the worms and you stop transmission. Two oral medications, albendazole and metazan, can do just that. Taken together once a year, these two drugs, donated by pharmaceutical companies GlaxoSmithKline and Merkin Company, destroy the parasites. Treatment for lymphatic fluoriasis will not reduce their legs. But what it will do is prevent these children from the same fate. We treat the children and we also treat the entire community to stop the transmission cycle. So the Carter Center, in partnership with a number of other NGOs and the World Health Organization, the Ministry of Health of Nigeria, has launched really the seminal program in Nigeria on a large scale to demonstrate that this is possible to interrupt the transmission of lymphatic fluoriasis. They are male or female. In the two Nigerian states of Plateau and Nasara, where the Carter Center has been working since 2000, 90 percent of the mosquitoes no longer carry the parasites. And transmission of the disease has completely stopped in more than one-third of the communities in those states. The mosquitoes, they are not infected anymore and the younger children are not showing evidence that they have it. We believe that if you extrapolate this results from Plateau and Nasara to the whole country, that it will be possible to eliminate LF in Nigeria. We're in the village of Nias, and we're having a health education session. Trained field staff and local volunteers play an important role, keeping neighbors informed and empowering them to take charge of their health and take their medicine. The center and partners also distribute long-lasting insecticidal bed nets to villagers. Bed nets work together with a drug treatment to help stop LF transmission. They also protect families from malaria, another disease spread by mosquitoes. This integrated approach battles two rampant diseases, and the Carter Center doesn't stop there. They've pioneered another strategy to bundle health services. Once a year, villagers take three safe, effective oral medications at the same time. This triple drug treatment combats LF, river blindness, and schistosomiasis, all neglected diseases found in remote and impoverished communities like this one. This is the first program that has the integrated approach uh, where we're also combining um, strategies to address three or more diseases within one community. And this is not done anywhere in any of the programs in Nigeria except the Carter Center. In one of the world's most disease endemic countries, the integrated approach offers hope that future generations of Nigerians will remember lymphatic filariasis and other diseases as afflictions of the past.